afternoon students so first of all i would like to congratulate all of you for finishing up your first semester exams and then uh, getting ready to selecting your focus areas of specialization so today uh, i'm going to introduce uh, geotechnology focus area which is under department of civil and environmental technology so first of all let's see what geotechnology is so it's basically a combination of two words geo plus technology geo stands for earth and then as all of you know that technology is basically uh, using uh, principles of engineering and applied sciences to solve problems so in that case geotechnology we can introduce as application of scientific methods and principles of engineering techniques to, uh, to solve or to work on activities related to earth rock and soil so i thought uh, when we talk about what tech geotechnology covers i thought of sharing this particular post uh, uh, we displays in our laboratory so actually geotechnology covers a huge vast area of sciences and industries so principally we 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 consider geotechnology is almost similar to geotechnical engineering but rather than uh, going for design aspects of it we are focusing on more technological aspects of geotechnology so when we when it comes to geotechnical engineering or geotechnology people thinks it basically basically cover about like foundation design or foundations of structures and underground work actually it covers that's one of the major parts of uh, geotechnical engineering or geotechnology and in addition to that it covers uh, geology it uses principles of geology hydrology and uh, geotechnics rock mechanics all those principal theories and come up with uh, solutions for earth related activities so it actually uh, combines with the mineral extraction mineral identification and then uh, geological site investigations like geophysical methods to do non invasive and invasive techniques of investigations and then again uh, hydrology basically uh, identifying underground uh, water aquifers and underground water wells and then uh, how if there is a contaminant leaked and uh, contaminated the underground uh, aquifer how that contaminant transfer throughout that uh, basin or aquifer and uh, the fate and transport of that contaminant and uh, landfill design and uh, again uh, all underground structures like tunneling highways and mineral extraction uh, mines it covers a huge area of sciences studies and industries when it comes to geotechnology so if we move on what are the opportunities industrial opportunities you can achieve or you can uh, get in sri lankan industry so if you take major construction projects like building construction companies like maga sanken lanka access engineering you can always go for geotechnical division of those major construction companies especially for sh uh, shallow and deep foundation designs and then the same time highway projects tunneling and other infrastructure projects like bridges and other structures you are always you have the ability to work on these particular projects as geotechnologists and then again we learn a lot about geophysical techniques which used to do geotechnical site investigation so there are many companies who offer geotechnical site investigations in sri lanka like ndro els ccb those companies always have an opportunity for you if you uh, take geo geotechnology as your career option and uh, it will help you to work on the site and do investigations and also there are other questions where if you wanted to focus more on in a office environment there are numerical simulations and uh, consultancy firms which basically do simulation software simulation modeling uh, on geotechnical applications <coughs> and then geotechnical instrumentation and monitoring services like you know in sri lanka there are lots of uh, natural hazards and uh, so we need to monitor and prevent those natural hazards so there are companies who helps to monitor those uh, areas which are prone for hazards 
like landslides and other conditions. And so there are a lot of opportunities for you to involve in that such kind of a work in uh, geotechnical industry. At the same time, uh, environmental geotechnology and uh, disaster management, landfill design, contaminant transport, even uh, geothermal uh, energy extraction. So there are lots of opportunities for you in Sri Lankan industry as well as uh, in international industries for this particular geotechnology focus area. So I thought uh, sharing some of the basic insights, uh, what we are covering as subject modules during these uh, remaining three years of time. So actually, if you take the curriculum content of semester three, the first subject uh, you learn is introduction to geology. It's basically covers uh, how uh, the earth has uh, created and what are the geological formations, how you can identify different minerals and rocks, and then uh, introduction to mechanics of materials. It's basically talks about the behavior of materials and how the stress strains are transferred and those kind of things. <clears throat> then construction materials and methods, different types of construction materials and uh, what sort of methods we can use effectively to handle those materials in construction industry. And then uh, applied geophysics, which is basically uh, geophysical techniques to understand or investigate subsurface conditions like resistivity surveys, GPR ground penetration radars, seismic surveys, and there are a variety of invasive and non-invasive uh, geophysical techniques which we can use to investigate subsurface conditions. And then as I told you earlier, hydrology and hydrogeology, how the hydrology water in underground environment, how that water behaves in underground geological formations. So that will be covered under hydrology and uh, hydrogeology. And then uh, when it comes to measurement and instrumentation, uh, what sort of sensors and instruments you can use for different uh, geological applications as well as for the other applications as well. And then uh, when it comes to semester four, we advance into the next step and uh, giving you the basic understanding about soils and soil mechanics. And then the materials and structure, again, a continuation of introduction to mechanics of materials. It's basically moving uh, from the basic behavior of uh, materials, how those materials can be applied into structure environments. And then uh, fluid mechanics as a common cause and then surveying. Uh, how you use uh, serving instrument to do measurements and those kind of things. And then uh, specific to geotechnology focused area, we have postal processing and monitoring, which covers the geotechnical or geotechnology applications related to the coastal environment. And then again, uh, we have environmental geology basically covers about the environmental aspects of geotechnology and how uh, the landslides, uh, sorry, uh, landfills are designed and uh, how, what can you do, how the contaminant uh, remediations will be done in uh, geotechnical applications. Then when it comes to semester five, again, as uh, in applied geophysics, we talked about uh, non-invasive techniques. Here we are going for uh, invasive techniques where basically we take samples out of it and based on those samples, how we characterize the subsurface conditions. And then uh, under structural elements, we talks about columns, beams, and the slabs of structure and how those loads transfer to the foundation. Because uh, the main idea of uh, geotechnologies is to design and uh, in implement the foundation of the structure, building structure. So then uh, when it comes to techniques for sustainable construction, we talks about sustainable approaches to do uh, construction industry and what practices we can do to create a sustainable environment in construction. And then uh, when we talk about the advanced soil mechanics, it basically covers under ge geotechnics, how those geotechnical principles can be applied into uh, slope stability and those kind of things. And then we have remote sensing and GIS again, how we sense uh, the geological structures or ground conditions from aerial perspective. And then uh, geo information system, how we incorporate geo information system into this. And then again, geological hazards and monitoring. 
and uh, in semester six, you have the ability to undergo training with variety of environment, variety of construction industries, investigation, underground site investigation, underground tunneling projects, highways and tunneling infrastructure, and then geophysical surveying uh, or investigation companies. And then <clears throat> when it comes to semester seven, again, advanced surveying, we introduce rock mechanics, how we use rock mechanical pr principles to stabilize uh, rock environments, and then construction and estimation procurement, numerical simulations, as I told you, the modeling and uh, software side of geotechnology is covered under numerical simulations, then instrumentation and troubleshooting, uh, shooting how we use instrumentation uh, to do, uh, or how do we troubleshoot the instruments we used in geotechnical in environment and then uh, you guys will be having a two semester long research and design project uh, which covers under this uh, geotechnology focus area as same as the other focus areas and then when it comes to semester eight we use the principles of mechanics of materials structures and fundamentals and uh, then we do foundation design shallow and uh, deep foundation design under uh, foundation technology and then we have ground improvement techniques. How do you improve the ground to create a relevant slope stability? And then uh, again, complementary uh, subjects like contract law and dispute resolution is also incorporated into uh, this curriculum so that you will have a better understanding as you uh, pass out as a professional. And then we have a variety of uh, sophisticated laboratories, which allows you to get hands-on experience with advanced instrumentation. And when it comes to this, this is our GPR instrument. And there are only two or three instruments available in Sri Lanka. And uh, so this is a very good opportunity for you to get very hands-on experience in advanced technologies uh, about this uh, geotechnical or geotechnology focused area. And then uh, not only we are focusing on to classroom discussions, we have field camps, we have uh, in semester three, end of the semester three, we are going for geology field camp. And then semester four, you have surveying field camp. And as this subject is more focused on industry and practical aspects and uh, dealing with Earth's related activities, you have to go in the field and you can enjoy. So we have many field visits to industries and getting no actual practical things uh, in our curricula. And so these are our teaching staff. We have five permanent members in uh, geotechnology focused area. Uh, Dr. Tushan Eknaligoda, senior lecturer, grade one. Dr. Sankaviti Singh, Dr. Shankar Maduranga, which is myself. And uh, Dr. Anya Cyril and Mr. Dilan Ranavira. So with that, I would like to conclude uh, the geotechnology introduction session. And uh, here below is my contact details. And you are happy. I'm happy to welcome all of you, any of you. If you have any questions or if you want to have clarifications, our academic staff members and myself are available for you to answer as we can. So uh, please uh, take this opportunity to know about all the focused areas and then develop your career and when you selecting your career pathway please make sure that you are passionate about that career pathway and you enjoy what you do so the final objective is to be happy uh, in what you do so make sure that you select the focused area which makes you happy thank you very much